I'm sitting down with AJ Cole the third senior punter for NC State football. AJ, senior year, bittersweet for you, I'm sure. Um, you know, looking from the outside in, you've really taken full advantage of this university. Um, you've grown on the field, you've grown academically, you've built some pretty cool relationships. So what's your mindset right now as you head into your final year at NC State? Uh, yeah, it's definitely bittersweet. Um, it's been it's been an awesome couple of years here. I've really enjoyed every minute of it, and um, you know, like you were saying, I've tried to just make the most of my opportunity. You know, football takes a lot out of you and asks a lot out of us, so you might as well get the most you can out of it. You know, if someone's going to use you, use it back, right? So uh, that's kind of been my mindset. But yeah, it's just it's crazy. It's it feels like I just got here, and uh, I, I can't believe it's already almost over. So you seem like a bucket list kind of guy. Like, do you have an NC State checklist that you're you know, <laughs> you're working on? Or? Uh, no, I don't have like a like a uh, a bucket list per se. But I just want to um, honestly just get get as many different experiences as I can, and and I'm just really trying to make the most out of the opportunity. But yeah, I, I know when you got like the orientation packet, there was like yeah, a checklist. like what do you do? What do yeah, you want? I should have kept up with something your legacy? like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken pictures or done something like that, but. Um, I think I, I think I probably checked just about every box they had. Everything, in there. so nothing yeah. else really with this season coming up that you really want to, you know, oh, well, leave yeah, no. here. Oh, plenty <laughs> yeah. more stuff. No, there's more. There's more stuff to go. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, so, what do you hope to, you know, kind of check off that list once you, you know, to leave here at NC State? Yeah, I mean, we want to win an ACC championship. I mean, it hasn't been done here in, in quite some time since seventy something. Yeah. Um, so that's obviously something huge for us as a team, um, but we just really want to go out there and just give everything we have every single practice, every single game, um, and just make, make the most out of the season. You know, I feel like we've just been knocking on the door so so much frequently um, yeah. in the last couple of years, and just uh, to have a season and just kind of push through all those obstacles would be huge. And you say we a lot. You're in a unique leadership role. You know, you lead the special teams, um, and you're also a team leader. You mm -hmm. really are a true team leader. So how do you plan to utilize that leadership role this year? Yeah, that's a good question. It's kind of an interesting situation because, you know, um, typically when you would think of someone who's in a leadership role on the team, it's, you know, a quarterback, a linebacker, someone like that. And that's definitely the case on our team with guys like, you know, Ryan and Pratt. But um, for me, I, I think I'm kind of in a unique situation because because I am a punter. And, you know, it's kind of funny <laughs> because, like, NC State fans don't really want to see me too much. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's kind of like a, a moment where if I'm on the field, they're like, mm, yeah, you know? like, <laughs> like what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, we'd rather him stay over there. Uh, yeah, but... But you own um, it, and you're good yeah. at it, you know, and you're a leader. That's, yeah. Yeah, so, the, I mean, that's the goal is to just show up and just to be the absolute best version of myself I can be every day and give these guys my all. But, yeah, I, I, I definitely like to think of it in terms of we just because I know that my individual accomplishments are, you know, not that significant. But combined with the rest of my teammates and the rest of my brothers, we can really accomplish something great. Absolutely. So you were recently named to the Ray Guy Award watch list for the third year in a row. A little more motivation this year to maybe be the last one on there at the end of the season? Yeah, I mean, that definitely <laughs> would be nice. Um, you know, I, that's not something I'm really too focused on. Um, I think a lot of those those awards, um, I think they're great, and obviously it would be a huge, uh, you know, it would be a really, really big compliment to win one of those. But a lot of it's just very situational, and what I want to do every Saturday is go out there and just put my team in the best position to win. Um, and sometimes, you know, a 31-yard punt is the yeah. best thing. If we're yeah. on the 32-yard line, a 31-yard <laughs> punt would be great. Um, so it, it's very situational, and I'm not too much, too worried about – you know, the awards in that way, I'd rather win games. All right, so we can't not talk about Kenya. Um, this is something you're super passionate about, um, your platform of yours. So you, in high school, you started taking a trip out to, it's Nakura, Kenya, correct? Nakuru. Say it for me, Nakuru. Okay, um, so yeah. five years now, you've yeah. visited there and you help contribute to children's education out there and you sponsor a child. It's, it's all a really awesome, really cool story. So, you know, how has that experience shaped you um, throughout the past five years as a person? Yeah, I mean... <sighs> you could go on and on about it. Yeah, Give I, me I the really brief. could. No, I could go on and on about it, but it's something I've been doing for a lot longer than, than my college career. I, mm -hmm. I started going on a similar trip to Mexico when I was a freshman okay. in high school. Um, and so I think that just the service and, and the community aspect, it's really who I am as a person, and it's who I was a lot 
a long time before I had opportunity to play college football. Um, and, you know, when I was starting to get recruited and starting to get offers and then when I committed here, my mom was like, you know, this is just a great opportunity to give that trip exposure. Absolutely. And, and it really has been. I mean, I had someone um, tweeted me, I think it was over, I think it was for Christmas, someone said, you know, uh, for, for Christmas, like we're, we're, my family is now sponsoring uh, a child Aww. over there. I've had so many people that I've been able to just reach out to. So from that way, um, the exposure that NC State football has given me has been such a blessing to that community over there. Just from being able to bring guys over there, yeah. like, you know, uh, Coach Henry has been over there, mm -hmm. Kyle Bambard, Arius Moore, uh, Nick Lacey, Brady Bodine, just a lot of great guys that I've been able to bring over there. And um, just, just that – that exposure, I think it's really, really cool, and, and the community is very thankful for that, ex that exposure. I bet, and you guys are all, I'm sure, really fun for them. <laughs> yeah, we have a great time. We really do. <laughs> so, as you mentioned, you know, you do, you really do utilize NC State football um, to help grow your platform. Mm -hmm. So, once college football is over, you know, how do you plan to continue growing your platform? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, yeah, like I was saying, you know, I've been going on these kind of trips uh, before I before mm -hmm. I started playing football here, back before I even played a varsity football game, and I'm going to keep going on on similar trips for the rest of my life. Um, but I think no matter what situation you're in, um, you still have a platform. And Absolutely. obviously, once I'm done playing football, my platform is going to kind of diminish, which mm -hmm. is why I'm trying to like squeeze everything I can <laughs> out of these four years. But, you know, you still do have a platform and, and people still are going to look up to you. And even just being able to be a former NC State football mm -hmm. player, that carries weight. It's so good, yeah. Um, you Absolutely. know, anywhere around Raleigh, people are going to care about that. And, mm -hmm. and that, I think that's really cool. So, you know, even if it's just work, working for some company, you know, what, wherever role you're in, you're still going to have some, some form of a platform. And people to share it with, yeah, absolutely. of course. Yeah. Um, so that somewhat leads me into my next question, you know, after – after college, the life after, um, NFL talk, okay, so you are pursuing an undergraduate graduate degree, correct? Um, so I kind of was. To explain how that works. So. Well, I was in that program, but because of uh, conflicts with football, I'm okay, not able it's to difficult. do that. Okay, difficult. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, so I had to kind of drop that, and I'm just graduating in December. Okay, well, you take your education seriously, you know, yeah. you have a great internship right now, and you're on track to do, you know, some awesome things, but the NFL, was that ever a part of the plan, or is it something that maybe could be a part of the plan? Yeah, it's it's just funny because my whole journey has been, been a crazy experience. Six months before I committed here, I didn't think there was a chance I'd ever play big-time college football. Yeah, um, here you are. <laughs> and then I, I just kind of stumbled into punting and then ended yeah. up with a, with a scholarship here, and that was incredible. Um, but it's kind of been a thing where I'm just taking it as, a, as, as it happens. Mm -hmm. Um, it's such an opportunity that you can't pass up the opportunity yeah. to train for it. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you're, even when I was a kid, I didn't even really think I had a chance. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty realistic with myself. I, and yeah. even when, you know, you're 10, 11 years old, you're dreaming about playing in the NFL, but you're like, I'm not really going to yeah, make it's it. Not. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and so just, just the fact that that's even an, uh, an opportunity I'm going to have a chance to train for is yeah. just so cool. It's even just awesome. being able to go through the experience of, you know, being able to go into a pro day and everything, not mm -hmm. looking past senior season by any means. Yeah. That's obviously the number one focus, but, um, you know, that that's just a cool yeah. cool reality that uh, I'm going to have a chance to train for something I've been thinking about but didn't really think I'd ever have a chance at. Yeah, definitely. So um, with that being said, you know, what's past college, you still don't know, I guess. It's just going to it's gonna come as it comes. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of take it as it goes. Yeah. Um, I don't really know uh, where I'm going to be or what I'm going to be doing, but yeah. I'm excited about Best it. Best way to do it sometimes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the unexpected. Definitely. All right. Well, I have one last question for you. Okay. Are punters people too? Oh, punters are <laughs> definitely people too. <laughs> NC State football is for the brand. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I had to ask you that. Well, thank you. I appreciate you sitting yeah, down with thank us. Thank you.